空の青さを知る人よ Hello everyone, what's up? Man, I'm movie review time to Sora no Alsa o s h i r u h i d o y o w o w Or should I say her blue sky for English shorter version of it? So let's just say this is another movie review time, and of course, to be honest, I just say that I never heard of this movie until like, Japan, so like, you know, go out of the way to market this anime,、uh, this movie. Well, you know, I, I did literally market it everywhere in all the cinema that I've been to. And well, well, you can say if they're hyping this movie up, then I might as well. Give a review to it. I'm pretty sure I know this, anim this anime is not being promoted by in anime lists or anime polls or any like、um, social media out there for the West to know about it because, like, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't know about it until I went to my local cinema to check it out, which is behind me right now. So, you can say the reason why I'm watching this because Japan's basically hyping it up. But you know, in the West, people don't, I don't think a lot of people know about it because it wasn't really being marketed、uh, on the, in social media, especially in the anime sites related stuff. So, well, you know, I, I might as well give the movie a shot because, like, what does it say? I did a little bit of background reading around、uh, the staff that's doing the movie. Well, it's not only been done by Global Works, we did the amazing animation for especially the fake grand order this season. Well, there's、uh, another reason to it because, well, let's just say there's、uh, like a trio of staff that will be doing this anime, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing their work again because the director is Nagai, which he did some amazing work in the past. Like, I know, I know Hana related stuff, and of course, then, then we have this story. Written by Mary Okata, which you know, she's well known for her amazing、uh, story, realistic approach to life, especially、uh, Makia. And then we have the Maiden Savage season, and of course, you know, she also wrote the story for Anohana to, related, Anohana related stuff too, and、uh, Athena Heart. So you can say Mary Okata is doing the, the story for behind for this, the screen, the, like, the script for this、uh, movie. So I'm, I'll be really looking forward to it because you know, she, she at least can do some s o r t of realistic approach to、uh, drama. And social life. And of course, and then the third one is because, like, the Tanaka, he's apparently he's gonna do the character design and apparently he's gonna stay authentic with his design. Where he, he, we're gonna see some、uh, Anohana related animation. So, yeah, you guys will see a lot of Anohana related stuff in this movie. And not to mention that is, the, the animation looks so much like Anohana, but also the location will be in Anohana、uh, city. So, basically, in Saitam, somewhere in Saitama, and yeah, you, they'll be basing it there. So, Yeah, this movie is hyping up in terms of Anahana and a t h e n of Heart. You guys watched that movie, but I'm really looking forward to it because it's Mari Okata who's written the story. And, you know, I really respect her work because of how amazing she did with Makia. And, of course, her、uh, Made in Savage Season 2 and Anahana related work too. So, I'll be looking forward to this movie. But so far, I, I know that it's not been hyped up by many in the past. Well, of course, especially in like anim the, the social media and Twitter.、Uh, although it's pretty much been hyped up in Japan only, but I try my best to like see how I、uh, review this movie so that I can sort of convince you guys to watch this movie when it's available in the West. So, yeah, without further ado,、uh, this is the movie I'll be watching today and reviewing, and let's get started with the movie, shall we? Oh my god, guys, check this out the souvenir for this movie, yo! And yes, of course,、uh, this is why I come to on opening day because this is where they give out souvenirs like this one, the folder of the previous successes. So, a n t h o n y h a r t and Anohana, the big one. And of course, now the new the movie we're watching. Oh my god, and sorry about the noise, they're just promoting right now. So, yeah, now the director, the screenwriter, and the animators are going to show us how good they're going to make for this movie. So, hopefully, it's the same, like, you know,、um, success as for Anohana and a n t h o n y h a r t Although, a n t h o n y h a r t I was like, eh, it's a good movie. So, yeah, can't wait to check out the movie because they just gave us this amazing folder. Two hours later. Oh my god, that movie was. Well, I expect nothing less from Mario Gata destroying our expectation how the love story should end, but you know, it was quite dramatic the way they end the movie in some ways. And of course, you know, it was a happy ending, but not for the main character, for the secondary main character, which I'm gonna get into later. But let's just say Mario Gata did her work again.、It's, you know, there's romance involved in this, but the romance in this movie is just like. Really? Come on, Mario Kata. I expected a bit more from you, but what do you expect? She,、uh, this, uh, is Mario Kata、uh, sort of perspective on, on love drama? Although I have to say the love drama is very unique in this story, well,、uh, not to ex some extent, but yeah, you know, 
I like the movie, don't get me wrong, but I better to do a proper review back in my room, so yep. Oh, I'm well, back in our room and safe from the rain. Yes, yeah, so it was actually started raining when I just started reviewing and just like, oh, well, we go back to my room and review it. So let's just say the movie. I can, I would say I'll give it 7.8 out of 10. It's not at the 8 region, but it's a good slice of light drama romance show. That's in my opinion. So don't go into it expecting some sort of like, you know, Makia sort of drama or maybe some sort of like, um, I don't know, I know Hana related drama. So no, no, no. It's more like, um, coming of age sort of thing so it's like basically the main character Oi or uh, well you can say that she's more like a main character but yet she does not have to solve ending she, she wanted but you can say the the happy ending has to go to the secondary main character which is her older sister Akane well you can find you can well, watch it you can find out about that but you guys ask me mad lad then can just tell us the premise for a bit because like you know at least we get the, the idea of the premise they can sort of understand how the story goes so let's just say the story starts us 13 years ago where you know Akane was in high school always was like around I think 10 years old or I think like 8 years old or something and of course you know Akane was actually in a relationship with this boy called Shin and well Shin Cho for longer name but she I call it Shin for easier to say Shin well you can say Shin and uh, Akane have uh, a thing going on of course and always more, more like a, 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 a meddling kid a, a meddling between them and stuff like that and then what, in one, at one point of their life their parents died so Oi and, Oi and Akane parents are died and Akane had to be the older sibling to take care of Oi so she had to give up her dream and like eloping with it, her boyfriend to Tokyo and stuff like that so that's basically the thing that sort of started the movie and of course you know that the boy Shin is quite hurt from this um, uh, message from her his girlfriend because like they were, they were planning this since uh, you know they start dating so yeah you can say you can guess how uh, guess where this sort of drama going to start by and and well let's just say oi you know throughout her childhood to to reaching the teen which we know the main part of the story she holds a strong regret over the fact that her sister wasn't able to achieve happiness and she's just being very selfish and she's just you know uh, punching herself uh, day in uh, every day for you know stopping her sister having achieving her happiness and not able to move uh, move with her boyfriend because she had to be in prison to take care of her, her uh, take care of her so I mean, she's been an older sister and stuff like that, but let's just say, or you know, um, well, Akane is trying to like, hold in those, you know, love feeling, put put it to her side, put her past her side, and focus on Oi. So I would say that's like something that you know, start of the start of the, like the main part of the movie where Akane has just been a very old, a good older sister taking care of Oi, and of course, Oi is now moving to Tokyo because she wanted to start a band, and yes, she she took out the interest in playing the bass now because you know of uh, Akane's boyfriend Shin, and of course, you know, she's just going through some puberty stuff, being rebellious to her older sister blah 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 teenage stuff and of, and at one point in the life she just you know say uh, I can uh, do you feel happy in your life so you know she knows about the sort of situation re uh, between Akane and her current her old uh, ex-boyfriend because her ex-boyfriend now is in Tokyo starring his own band but they haven't been contacting each other so she just you know trying to like un um, feel sorry for her and then one day she went to this you know training uh, the, the place where Akane and her boyfriend and her, her the band go to practice every day she just goes to this sort of cottage in the in the shrine next to the shrine to you know play a guitar and play some uh, do some good singing of course and then for some miraculous reason Jin from the past 13 years in the past came to the current era which is the where the movie is mostly based in so you can say a past goes to the present not the present goes to the past so you can say the young uh, Shin came to, from the past to the future present and you can say Oi obviously gonna be was struck by the fact that Jin from the past came out of nowhere to the, to the future but you know he, he cannot escape the cottage because like he's been imprisoned in, in, in it but there's a reason to it but you guys I won't say too much about that because that would be like the main part of the story and then you know shit with the young Shin and the current Shin this current uh, timeline oh yes I, I said it right the young Shin from 13 years ago is in the same timeline as the old Shin 13 like 31 I think around 31 years old and stuff like that and while Oh, uh, Akame is also 31 years old. Yeah, they're in their 30s, of course. Yeah, drama, slice of life, comedy stuff happens along the way where Oi trying to hide uh, the young Shin from everyone. Although she, only, although there's one boy that always sticks close to Oi 
probably don't find, also knows about it. Along this way, they overcome many challenges, especially the fact with the the older Shin, the 31 years old Shin, came back to her, his hometown and all depressed, all run down, not energetic, all pessimistic because of it, because he sort of didn't have a very successful band because he's still dwelling on the past. And yeah, you can say the current Shin uh, sort of found out about this and he trying his best to do whatever it takes to help it, help the current Shin. And Oi also helps out too by tending to snap out of it. And we can say that this is a drama where you, 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 it's the fact that the young Shin is not here to change his, himself but here comes to the present to change the present basically telling the current Shin the 31 Shin to snap out of it and you can say that's where all the drama kicks in uh, Akame comes in also uh, also like trying to realize her own true feelings and trying to move on and of course along this way Oi also fell in love with Shin marry Okata you just love to have a love triangle don't you yes there's a love triangle in this uh, love story, but I don't know. I will not go too much into the details because that's for you guys to enjoy. But this is say this love triangle pretty much go one sided, and in the end, Oi sort of like, sort of achieve happiness, and o although I can achieve the most happiness, but I, I let you guys imagine that. And yes, the weirdest thing about this this movie is that they flew. Yes, miraculously, the younger Shin has some sort of flying abilities to fly over town and stuff like that. So you can see from the PV where he just jump out of the the stairs and just flew so you can say some weird stuff happening in the movie but in let's just say it's a good movie it's a, it's a good drama in terms of like telling people to move on from the past changing themselves um realizing your true feelings um, love complications and of course marry okata just love to keep it simple but add a bit of sprinkle of love drama and love of love, like unexpected events happening too so it's a very unique sort of story but Again, it's, it's almost like going back to the past and change the past, but this time it's the opposite way around. It's a past coming to the present to change the present. In the, I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, it, it's like that. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole premise of the story. And you can, I can like, like, I'm sure imagine how this will go. Because, and now I'm just going to go into like the general stuff of the movie. Okay, story-wise of the movie, fantastic. I love the sort of love drama and I love the unique twist to, you know, the, the, the sort of like, you know, the love stuff happening in, the, in general Mario Kata movie. And of course, you know, Mario Kata love to like, sort of, you know, change the way of review love. And of course, you know, we have some sort of generic cliche moments in this movie too where, oh, for some reason, the main character is going to fall in love with the, the boyfriend of, you know, her older sister from the past. And well, you can say it goes that, that way, but then it will backfire her later in the movie but yeah let's just say the story has a very very touching uh, side of it in terms of like you know love wise but Mario Kata just love to sprinkle some love love po love potion into this movie making us just enjoy seeing main characters sort of suffer emotionally and so it improved her as a person because through love of course realizing her potential realizing her that she make a mistake in her past and making sure that she uh, push her sister to to making sure she have her achieve happiness and so yeah, story-wise, I like it. My Kata, you did an amazing job with it. Uh, I mean, I sort of like, you know, sort of sat there and like, hmm, not bad, My Kata. Anything else you want to add to it? So I was, exp I was expecting too much from her, but don't expect this movie to be like Anohana, sort of like tearful movie. Expect this like a slice of life drama with a bit of like, oh man, I feel sorry for her. That's sort of feeling. I guess I said, I was, I thought this, I was going to cry in this movie, but no, I did not. So, in terms of like the graphics wise, if you guys watch Anohana, or you guys watch Anthem of Hearts, it's basically that so animation. It's basically the same artist, animator, director of this movie. It's like they did uh, two, those two shows I mentioned. Yeah, Tanaka is he's doing this again, so obviously you're gonna have this Anohana feel to it. And of course, it takes place in the same city as Anohana and Anthem of Hearts. Actually, they're really promoting that town, isn't it? And by the way, I plan to visit that town soon in the future, so look out for any anime location video that I make a post on my channel. Animation-wise, yeah, it looks good. I mean, very clean, very beautiful. The, um, the sort of like the jumping around and the flying around the sky looks a bit weird, but it did amazingly with the maneuver and stuff like that. And of course, the, the, the graphics of the background look stunning as well. And well, in terms of like the design of the uh, well, and the animation of the guitar playing, they did really focus on the detail of how they move the fingers. So fantastic, fantastic, and so re regarding to the music, dude, download. 
the background music, download the main music. Oh my god, I'm in love with the music, dude. I put a link to the description below to how where you can get the music, and I just can't believe how amazing the music was. I just like, whoa. And to be honest, I want to play a bit of a clip for for in this video, but you know, copyright and stuff like that, so I can't really do much about it. So. Yeah, this the music is so beautiful. Oh my god! I think the thing that makes this movie stand out the most from all previous Ma Mario Orchestra work other than Makia is the beautiful music, dude. It's not it's not like those like you know, very sad music you see in Makia. It's more like your poppy rock and of course some sort of slow motion music in this movie. So Mario Orchestra really I tell them to what to include in the movie and the directors to understand where the approach Mario Orchestra want to have for this uh, movie. And of course the Nagai, he has some previous experience with a lot of good shows in the past so he knows how to how it works to make a good um, dramatic movie so he really you know listens to Mario Gata the, the main writer for the story and he managed to like you know carry out this duty well so I'm um, fair play for that guy able to like incorporate her story and making it uh, like a, a possible and make it like very beautiful too um, but you know in terms of like the character wise strong character development in this movie there will be a very the character development plays a big part expect nothing less from mario kata because we saw from maiden savage season that character development and love because of love yeah you see something like that in the in this movie too and of course you know you're gonna see some of like realizing of love moving out to coming of age realizing that you're making a mistake in the past and you need to change it yeah, that's so. That's all character developments in this movie, and you guys will sort of like enjoy this movie, seeing how the characters uh, move move on over time, and able to like overcome their past, and able to like sort of like understand what they did in the past, and make um, um and of course like you know the Kame sort of like realizing that she's uh, been stupid with her decision in life. Oh, that's all character development, and you guys will sort of like really really take, uh, enjoy this movie. I know a lot of people are gonna sleep on this movie because it's not really that promoted quite well, but trust me, guys. Give some time in, uh, to go to the cinema and watch it when you guys when you release in the West, and because I really recommend you guys check out this movie, especially the fact if you guys love Mario Okata work or or you guys love Hano Anohana or you guys love Anthem of Hearts the movie. So if you guys really love Mario Okata work, you guys really should watch this movie. So I will not spoil any more to how to how they end to end the movie, but the way they end the movie is quite annoying in some ways but in in, in some in some cases it actually makes sense when i watch the credit scenes so yeah you guys you guys will, some of you will feel annoyed with how they end the movie but just expect mario Kart to surprise you guys with love weird ways to end the movie making you guys like oh my god really come mario Kart, this is how you're gonna end the movie so this is how you guys should go and approach the end how the ending of the movie so well i mean down to you guys of course that's how i saw how i reacted in the movie and Ah, <sighs> well, to be honest, character development in this story just so amazes me so much and seeing how Oi changes as a person from very rebellious to very caring and very, and very understanding too. Seeing Shin was able to make a difference in the in, from the overall the passion coming to the present making the difference by changing the the current Shin, the future Shin, his, um, his newfound pessimistic character back to his old self again that's sort of approach of course but of course along the way there'll be a lot of struggles too so yeah marigata really knows how to make a good story it's just a she so my, my advice for you guys whoever watches uh, my review for this uh, video share it Sh I, I, obviously i try my best i did not spoil too much i just give you guys a good premise of the story so you can, can picture how you go and yeah, just go and watch the movie. Do not sleep on this movie. It's a good movie. Trust me when I say that. And it could be, you guys could be let down by a sort of like slice of life view to it, but no. My hero character have a simple slice of life, but they sprinkle with love, like her touching drama and her realistic approach to love too. So yeah, you guys should watch this movie. So my my overall opinion, 7.5, uh, 7.98, not in the 8 region just yet, but if they did some scene, like, the scene that I wanted to happen in the movie it, to make it a bit better, I'll put I give it an eight or even higher. So, yeah, just go and watch the movie when it's available, either online pirating, of course, and of course in the cinemas if they decide to have some sort of overseas release. So go and watch this movie because I, you guys will love it. For anyone who loves Mario Kart work, and so yeah, this is a really good movie, and you guys should really go and take your time to watch it. Do not sleep on it, by the way, and just enjoy the movie. Enjoy some typical love drama shows again some k, k drama 
that's how you can put it that way. And it's not your typical go back to the past and change the past from what comes into the present. That's all I can say. So yeah, without further ado, hope you can enjoy my review for this movie. Give it a like, join my review, subscribe to my channel, join my review content. And yes, this is an informal review, so hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time.